Hey guys, this is Ishmael Lamte. Now as part of the videos I record are some that requires for me to use a teleprompter. Most of the time I end up recording my videos alone and in case I'm recording alone, sometimes it's a bit difficult for me to go about still monitoring my teleprompter, uh, managing it as well as being able to go about my recording. So I actually developed a way which makes it much easier for me to be able to go about the process and today I want to share that with you. So as you can see, I have two cameras. I have one camera positioned there. And then I have one um, positioned right by me, which is basically capturing what is happening here as well as what's happening over there. And then that's one focused on me. Then I have my phone mounted on that, which is going to serve as a teleprompter. Now to be able to go about this process, there are two things that you actually need. One, you need an internet connection. And then two, you need a remote connection app. Yes, a remote connection app. So basically, I have a remote connection app on my phone, which I also have on my PC. And then I try to establish remote connection to my phone. Then I, I'm able to manage my phone from my PC. Yes, you heard me right. So this, uh, the remote app that I use is TeamViewer. So I use TeamViewer on my PC. And then for my phone, I have TeamViewer Quick Support. So that's what is going to enable me go about the process. So I'm actually going to demonstrate to you so you get to see how to go about this. So I'm going to be moving over here and there to be able to have this um, start working. Then we can go about the process. So first of all, I'm going to launch TeamViewer on my PC. So yeah, I have TeamViewer launched. As you can see, it is requesting for partner ID. I should be able to generate my partner ID from that um, phone over there. I enter that over here, connect, and then accept the connection from there. So let me just get to that phone. So let me just move a bit. Come here, open my Team Viewer Quick Support. So it's opened. Um, let me just. Um, it says this. Okay, let me just end this, and then. So as you can see, there's a code which has been generated on my phone over there. I need to be able to enter that code here at my partner ID section. So this is 15002561111. Um, so let me just click on connect. So once I try to establish a connection to my phone over there, I need to head back there and accept the connection. So I'm going to go back to my phone and then accept the connection. So let me just hit on allow on my phone and then once i do that automatically the connection has been established so as you can see my phone is now on my laptop and i can actually control my phone right from my laptop so what i'm going to do next is to expand this to be able to have a bigger view of my laptop uh, my screen that's my phone and then locate my teleprompter so i once i open that i open my teleprompter app which is the parrot teleprompter then i'm going to go ahead to go through the scripts that i have so i have a couple of scripts i need to select which one i want to use and once i arrive on that so let's say maybe this one then i need to start it so i hit on this play icon or just click on any part of the screen then within some few seconds you should see the teleprompter starting to roll on my phone as well as on my pc but in this time around i need to focus on my phone because i need to look at that camera so let me just try to read what's over there it says Gone were the days where it was difficult to make and receive payments online. Now, I'm actually not reading the way I would have read if I was recording live. I'm just trying to improve, prove to you that this actually works. So as you can see, this camera is captioned that it's moving over there and you can actually see it on my laptop as well. So this is basically how you can go about using a teleprompter all by yourself. Now, this is a hack I actually had to develop because most of the time, I end up recording by myself and it's a bit difficult trying to move over there, tapping on the screen, having had to run back here to be able to be in frame and continue recording. So I found it very, very useful. I'm sure there might be someone over there or a lot, a lot of people over there who might be facing this also and need to find a solution to it. So I hope you find this very useful. This brings an end to this particular video. In case you are new, kindly, kindly hit on that subscribe button. And then don't forget to hit on the bell as well so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it. Once again, my name is Eshma Lamte. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.